Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about not being good enough. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, if a person thought he is not good enough at programming, what would you suggest to him? Try it. Try it before you uh, decide that you're not good enough. Because uh, I can tell you right now, uh, and well, I'm not going to build it up too much, but uh, there was a time when I felt exactly like you. A, I think I delayed my initiation into programming by m at least five to ten years ish, something like that, B based on the fact that I thought I knew what it was about and I thought. I knew that I was not a good I wasn't good enough at the things that was necessary in order to be a a serious software developer. And I came to this point in my life because I actually delayed the well depending on how you look at it. I like to say that usually we have a, we have a few big choices in our, in our like an average person has a few big choices to make throughout their life. And you might have multiple professions, but uh, one thing that is a big thing, especially when you're younger, is the decision. Okay, what am I? What am I gonna do with my life? What what profession am I gonna pick? Like, what what is my identity as an adult going to be all about? And I postponed that decision well into my mid twenties, as much as I could. Like I had, you know, this is a story as old as youth, I think. You play around, you you do things like you take odd jobs or you do temporary things, but you never really commit to something because you may or you commit to something more out of convenience rather than a sense of purpose, if that makes sense. And that was me. In many, I, I would say that was the it was a textbook example of what I was doing. I never really had any job when I was uh, not like a teenager and in, in my 20s and so forth up until like I started as I said until my mid 20s and the main reason was because I didn't really feel like I found the thing that I wanted to do so I thought to myself okay there is something that I could see myself doing and that is to be a teacher because I enjoy teaching as a, as a uh, I used to be a martial arts instructor uh, many years ago and uh, I enjoy the process of teaching and seeing people learn things and like, help them along and so forth and so I had that decision to make uh, I could become a teacher but then the question is what subject would I teach and I thought okay well hmm, I'm decent at English maybe I could do that or uh, I'm also decent at writing, maybe I could do that. I didn't really find a subject, because that's the thing that I truly believe, that is one of my foundation beliefs. A good teacher loves the subject. If you hate the subject, you're, it doesn't matter who, how good, uh, it, 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 it's almost impossible for you to be a good teacher if you don't like the subject that you're teaching. And I didn't want to be one of those teachers, because I wanted to, like for me, fulfillment is a, it's the most f core for uh, part of my identity to feel fulfilled in the thing whatever I do and so I really had I was struggling with this 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 choice and then I thought to myself well I've always enjoyed reading about programming I've always thought it was kind of cool and I always when I was a kid like the biggest thing for me like I wanted to be a hacker fuck yeah I wanted to be one of those uh, super hackers who could crack into a, a system with just a few types on the um, on the keyboard you know I didn't know the first thing about it but I thought it was really cool because I'd watched all those hacker movies and I thought that is pretty cool I want to be able to do that it seems seems so so badass right but I'm not smart I'm not good I'm not good at what I do or I, I'm not good enough to do this thing and so I got to that point it basically came to the edge where I realized that I really have to make a decision now and I thought all right let's do this let's take the teaching thing and like, like because that for me would have been the easy route from my perspective that was the easy route because i had already shown to myself and to others that i had an aptitude for the, this thing so i thought it wouldn't be hard so hard for me to go in and get that to be a successful thing but it's not the thing that i want the most what i want is to be challenged i want to do something a little bit different i want to feel fulfilled in a different way i don't want to just go through the motions so i tried programming 
and I'm not gonna lie it was hard it was hard as hell and it took many failures until I started to sort of get how it worked and then it kind of went from there so what I really suggest to you is to try to start by trying like really try and take it step by step that's something that I think is really important to you uh, for you as well understand that it doesn't really matter so much what other people are doing around you it doesn't really matter where you think that you should be take it step by step and say all right I don't know how to do all of these amazing things that all those like professional programmers are doing and so forth that doesn't matter learn the first thing if you don't know what a variable is start by learning what a variable is and when you know what a variable is learn what a loop is if and when you know how to use a loop you move on you take it step by step you inc like it's you're building up or it's like climbing a mountain you're climbing you just take one you get one foothold and then you take the next one and then the next one and you iterate over your own education to the point where things starts to make more and more sense and then you're going to t you take the next step and before you know it you start to re realize that okay now I kind of know how a programming language works I can do like these kind of script things and sure I mean it's kind of silly because trust me when I say I say this to you I thought when I first started like it was cool it felt empowering just to print something like hello world to the screen I thought it was kind of cool but I also was very painfully aware of how far I had to go in order to be able to build my own computer game or to you know hack a system or do all these things I thought programming was about when I was starting out because that's the thing right when you don't know any better you think that you know it's like uh, I like to say to my uh, friends that the less you know about computers the more you think you know about computers because they they call me sometimes and say oh Frederick I think I got a computer virus and I go, how do you know? Well, it's it's acting up. I have these error codes that I go, well, but I, I uh, have you uh, have you even plugged it into the internet? No, no, it's just standing there. I've never used it. I'm like, yeah, because viruses are they just land on your computer through the air. It's part of the Corona thing. Maybe your laptop got Corona. I don't know. It, so it, it's the same thing with you now. You don't know what it means to uh, it, what it really means to. Uh, or I, I'm assuming here, you ha uh, I, I think that you need to give yourself some time to actually really figure out whether or not it's a question of that you're good, uh, if you're uh, that you're not good enough, or the fact that it's just you're just going through something that is hard, because there's a big difference there. Not being good enough is one thing, but going through something where you're not good enough right now, that's very different. It's extremely different. Just because you don't have aptitude, just because you you might not the thing this thing this programming thing isn't coming natural to you that doesn't mean that you can't overcome it the real question is are you willing to put in the work that is required for you to get over this hump that you're facing that is the real question I had the same problem I promise you I had the same problem you have no idea how much I had to work to figure out this coding thing it did not come natural to me but I worked at it and I kept on working at it and I along the way I got some helpful tips from people and some really nice guidance and uh, but a lot of it was just churning churn 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 just grind 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 as much as humanly possible and as I said take it step by step learn the simple thing first and then build upon that simple thing and then learn the next simple thing and then the next simple thing step by step and before you knew uh, before I before I knew it I, because trust me when I said when you enjoy it it doesn't really matter that you're not moving as fast as you could have because you just enjoy the thing that you're doing and it feels like not, no time passes whatsoever and here I am now several years later it feels like it happened yesterday that I learned this thing and today I, it's almost hard to find something that is a true challenge so what I want you to take away from this is that if you think that you're not good enough at programming I think that the thing that you need to figure out is if you really have given it your all and you realize that this thing is not for you that it's too hard it's not gonna work out for you or if it's just that you right now feel a little bit sorry for yourself because you're facing something that is difficult that's something that you're not a natural at and trust me when I say this just as someone who is very uh, obese can get into shape 
or someone's learning a new language that's uh, trying to say a spoken language, you can do this. I promise you that you can do it. The question is, are you willing to put in the work that is required? And that is only, uh, only you can answer that question. But what I really suggest to you is to cut yourself a, some slack and get into that mind, mind space, step by step. Learn the, simp the next simple thing that is a little bit outside of what you understand today. Try to figure that out. And when you kind of figure that out, take the next thing and then the next thing. And don't focus so much on how fast you're moving. Just approach it, the problem that way and try to enjoy the process of learning. Because if you do that, I promise you, you will wake up one day and realize that, shit, actually, I kind of know how all of this stuff works. Have a great day.